Defence Minister Rajnath Singh chaired the meeting of Defence Acquisition Council today, in which acquisition proposals worth 28,000 crore rupees was cleared, out of which acquisitions worth 27,000 crore rupees will be sourced from the Indian industry, which includes 25,000 crore rupees acquisition of the DRDO designed and developed airborne early warning and control systems for the Air Force and modular bridges for the Indian Army, the Akashthi Tactical Air Defence Control and Reporting System worth 2,000 crore rupees developed by Bharat Electronics Limited, and indigenously built sites for the Army's light machine gun valued at 600 crore rupees. The Indian Air Force has asked the French manufacturer MBDA to recalibrate the software of the Scalp long-range air-launched cruise missile to 4,000 meters above sea level, instead of the previous calibration of 2,000 meters, which will enable the Rafale fighters to target the enemy at 4,000 meters in mountainous regions. The next batch of three Rafale fighters are also expected to arrive in January 2021, that will be refueled by aerial refuelers of the UAE Air Force using its Airbus 330 tankers. Learning from its Sastra Mark 1 experience, the DRDO and Indian Air Force have decided to fast-track developmental trials of the Astra Mark 2 program by going for a pre-production lot of 25 units that will be used for the trial phase, and four Su-30 fighter jets will be modified to carry the longer Mark 2 variant. The integration of Astra Mark II on the Rafale fighters might see stiff resistance from the French side, that is keen to promote its upcoming new generation Mica and Meteor systems to the Indian Air Force. India has successfully night-tested two Prithvi-2 tactical ballistic systems yesterday, and officials have said that both the tests were highly successful. The 350 km range tactical system features improved navigation due to an inertial navigation system, and new measures to deceive enemies' anti-ballistic missiles. The Aragath nuclear-powered submarine is currently in the final stage of sea trial, and will be commissioned in early 2021, and will be equipped with 3,500 km range K-4 submarine-launched ballistic missiles which has recently completed its development trial. The 7,000-ton S-4 nuclear submarine is also scheduled to be launched in 2021, and it is expected to be officially inducted into the Navy by 2022, while its sister ship S-4 Star will be ready for launch in 2023, and both the S-4 and S-4 Star will have eight missile tubes, as compared to four tubes in the Airy Hunt class submarines, and will be equipped with K-5 and K-6 submarine-launched ballistic missiles. The Indian Space Research Organization has successfully launched the communication satellite CMS-1, on board the launch vehicle PSLV C-50. The CMS-1 communication satellite will provide services in extended C-band of the frequency spectrum, and will cover entire India and its silent territories. The ISRO has also established a dedicated control center to monitor track and protect India's space assets, and so far only the US Russia and Europe have similar established capabilities. Oh,